folks, Dennis Hancock, UGA Forage Extension Specialist, the Grass Man. Uh, good to be out here with you today. We're actually starting a new grazing trial. We're looking at forage brassicas in a mixture with uh, rye and ryegrass. And uh, these uh, calves we just turned out and they're already going to town on it. Yeah, check this out. They're, uh, uh, they're kind of going away from me, but they are already uh, doing a pretty good number on these brassicas. Uh, it's got a good mix of rye, ryegrass, and actually quite a bit of uh, crimson clover down in there as well. It's kind of hanging out down in the bottom, uh, but it's definitely there. Um, got an occasional hen bit and some other things in there too, but it's, uh, it's going to be some really great pasture. Uh, this particular pasture right now is actually averaging a little bit heavier than what we would really like to see at turnout. Uh, this one is about uh, 5,000 pounds of dry matter, which is uh, quite a bit more than what we really intended on. We were hoping actually to uh, turn them out um, a little bit earlier, but just because of the way winning fell and the holidays fell, we weren't able to, uh, uh, to get them out. But uh, honestly, this is the one that's probably the furthest along uh, the others are averaging right at uh, 2,800, 3,000 pounds of dry matter, which is really what our target was to start with. But you can see it's really, uh, uh, really good forage. Uh, the cattle are, are doing well. We've just turned out uh, some five weight calves onto, uh, onto these pastures. Uh, we're comparing it against uh, mixtures without brassicas. And you can see across the lane here, we actually have uh, some rye and rye grass without any brassicas in them. Um, and we're going to be looking at animal performance as well as looking at some of the soil health characteristics of having some of these big deep tap roots on these brassicas and seeing if that really makes any difference in soil compaction here. Um, last week we ran a device across here and I'll show you the video of that as well. Uh, that uh, device actually goes through and, and uh, measures soil compaction. Uh, the, uh, probes there that you're seeing actually allow it to go into the ground and measure uh, compaction as well as uh, taking a measurement of soil moisture at the same time and then it's also using uh, the devices there at the back the green seeker to actually assess uh, uh, vegetative cover so it's looking at how much vegetation mass is present so uh, we're really excited to be able to do this project uh, this research project is a Master student research project. Uh, Taylor Denman is the grad student that's working on that, and we're really excited to be able to uh, to have her uh, doing that project. Uh, one of the things we're looking at is soil compaction, and, and we have some areas that are grazed and ungrazed. Of course, uh, we have uh, some exclusions, as you can see here. This is an exclusion right around uh, one of the uh, shade structures, and uh, we're looking to see how this might affect. Um, compaction right around uh, some of these compacted zones and we also have a fair amount of slope and, and water movement off of these pastures and if you look closely let's see if I can point it out to you right down in the middle of that uh, little swag is another one of those uh, co collection devices where we're going to be measuring soil compaction and soil properties there as well so uh, really kind of excited to see how this is all going to uh, to look out as we go through the, uh, the season. So we're going to be looking at animal performance, forage productivity, as well as uh, some of the soil characteristics. One side benefit too. of doing forage brassica grazing trials is you got a ready supply of turnip greens anytime you want it. So you can kind of bend down here, grab one, fresh from the field, fresh from the field. Not bad. Don't think I'll gain three pounds a day though. Stay tuned, we'll uh, keep you informed on some of the results. I'll sign off for now. We'll see you down the road.